people agree to education, how people agree to trade or how people agree to healthcare, we're dealing with criminal code because not everyone is going to behave properly. We're dealing with culture and entertainment. Are you going to allow small children to be exposed to pornography and violence? Are you going to allow adults to be entertained by pictures of children being abused? Then you've got businesses. Then you've got elections. Then you've got problems, emergencies that happen, like the, the hurricane and the flooding. Then you've got the question of energy. What is the forms of energy you use? Environment. What land is used for what? Then you've got finance. You've got fitness and health. You've got food. You've got infrastructure, industry, knowledge systems, computers, legislation, military, police, and on and on and on. Just two million people. And you're dealing with a complex problem of competing interests where people want to fly kites for ideas, people have political agendas, people have religious agendas, and those agendas all need to be matched, where you have to balance the rights of the many, the rights of the few. This is an extraordinary challenge. This is an extraordinary challenge that you need to balance if you are truly going to deal with a society and repair its issues. Health is not going to be solved by throwing more money. They've tried that. And the money goes to the doctors, the money goes to the pharmacies, and the money gets wasted. Education is not solved by more money. They've shown it. It's solved by models and architectures and thought and principles and knowledge and wisdom and seeing this as a structure. Yes, it is complex. But it can only be solved. It can only be solved by diving in and identifying a model. Now, if you want to see the level of depth, and you are still on the Globe Union court site, if you click on that big image of the charter, you go right to the end of that, and you look at section 15 of procedures, you just go and have a look at any one of those articles, like article 152, the agricultural code, you will see that the structure of every single code has been thought through through the study of thousands and thousands and thousands of pages of statutes from around the world to identify what is the inherent architecture. Now, only about 12 of these codes have been completed to a draft. There are 33 codes that need to be finished. And only some of the canons, the 22 books of canon law, have been finished. The 33, there's a third done. The 22, there's a portion done. And of course, the 11 key charters and covenants also need to be finalised. Now, I'm happy always, and I know many of you know this, I'm happy always that we edit and repair things that don't make sense. In fact, if someone finds an error, I am overjoyed that they can refer to the web page, they can refer to the section, and they can make some recommendation of what they see the problem is. Because there has been literally thousands of those emails and all those corrections have been incorporated or at least debated. It's an open source model. But in the absence of a example of a different model, it is really a cheap shot and a statement of intrinsic ignorance if someone says this is overly complex. No, our problem is that people haven't been comprehensive enough. They haven't recognised the problem. We've got politicians who would rather make simplistic slogans then dive in there and understand the underlying architectural problems of why society is falling apart. And how many people, how many groups have developed this outside of the existing ruling governments today? 
in fact, even in the last 200 years, one, only one has done it. And you are part of that. Well, let's make this count. If this is the only one, indeed, as we speak, if, if Earth is indeed the only habitable planet amongst the star systems in our recent area, then it's got to be worth something to take care of it. If this is the only working model developed amongst the 7.x billion people in the world today, yes, that's scary, but let's make it work. And the next time someone says to you, it's overly complex, just ask them those questions. Or how in the hell do you think the world runs today? Fairy floss? Sugar and spice and all things nice? Let's get serious. Whether Elenin is coming, whether it isn't, the world has faced disasters and plagues for millennia. That won't change. But the biggest single change I see is a change in spirit, a change in awareness and a willingness to no longer accept to go with the flow. If we truly are general executives, then we will grasp with both hands what we need to do. And what we need to do is finish this, perfect this, test this, and share this with as many people as we can. Well, thanks very much. I'm going to look forward to answering questions you have. Remember to press star eight if you want to talk live. And I look forward to answering those questions and the questions you put into the chat now. Thanks very much. And let's uh, start answering some of the questions. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm just going to look through the questions in the chat that people have put in. There's not too many yet. I see a couple here. And please, I ask anyone who wants to speak to press, I think it's star eight. And guest 28 says, can one use the same deed poll process with birth certificate for the baptism certificate? Um, they're different. They're, they're different. And look, the use of the birth certificate, we have updated the material and you'll see that there. Well, why do we ask for you to make a cover copy of your birth certificate and use it as the transmitter of your deed poll. We could use many public documents that they provide to us, but the reason we use that is that that document, more than pretty much any other document in their system, is the foundation of the presumptions against us that we are a peon. We're in peonage, that we are a debt slave, that we are a pauper. It's no surprise that when the Queen was uh, coronated, that before she was coronated, she needed to surrender her birth certificate. Why? Because she was no longer considered in any fashion a peon, of course. A new person was created in the system. So they are different, and I would say to you that the answer, the short answer is no. The birth certificate is used. If not the birth certificate, um, I, I know that if people have had the naturalisation certificate, I would suggest if not, I would use the live-born record as the transmitter. But ideally, if you have a birth certificate, that should be the transmitter that you send um, on the reverse side of the deed. Um, let's move on to the next question let's see what we have here um, what have we got um, Galactic Sojourner says in order for you to give a valid answer I have to give you the background history of the facts okay uh, all right so Galactic Sojourner is giving us a Right, okay. So Galactic Sojourner has given us a, a bit of a background. 
it would be great to, to actually hear from you. And if, if I can hear from you, it would be fantastic because uh, it would be great to hear um, your statement in terms of what you found was the remedy where the system has basically left you alone. Uh, Galactic Sojourner has some comments on that. Uh, I'm not seeing any, any questions at the moment. I'm hoping uh, someone would like to speak. Uh, is there any questions anyone would have on that? Uh, any, oh, here we go, question. Scooter says, <clears throat> what is a foundation? A foundation uh, is a, ultimately a foundation is a, a form of trust um, usually set up um, so that there is a, um, a board of trustees, um, usually structured uh, for non non profit. Um, a foundation is just another way of describing uh, a particular structure, usually defined by statute in terms of who may set up a foundation. Um, so it is usually a statutory type of trust. What you find, it's the same as someone saying what is a corporation, what is a public company. In their system, every single element of this ultimately relates back to a trust, either being part of a trust, being part of an estate, being a trust in itself. And what they've done is that they use these different labels to hide the trust structure. So just as we described a trust having an executor, trustees, beneficiaries and, and property and intent and trustee, all those things can be identified within a foundation. Um, good, I've got questions coming up now, so I'm just going to answer. Here we go. The first one is uh, Connecticut. Connecticut, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Hi, how are you doing today? Doing well. My question is, you mentioned that the judges or the magistrates still try to play games in the court when you say that you're the executor. Yes. What remedy do we have when they try to say, oh, I don't know what you're talking about and you're showing them the paperwork? Uh, excellent question. The best remedy to judges playing games is to be found in the Roman court procedures section on, that I showed you on the Globe Union Supreme Court. When you click on that, you'll see that there is a section there that says uh, presumptions, the 12 key presumptions. If you want to know where it comes from, it comes from the uh, canons, I think 299 it is, Article 299 of Positive Law. And uh, let me just double check before I get into a bit more detail on the, on the answer. Uh, let me just see. Positive Law, Article... Yes, Article 299, and it is Canon number 3228. So when you look at that, you see there's a series of presumptions that we miss. Okay, so the first presumption that allows them to play games is that the matter... We think every matter in there is on the public record. When you go to court, you saw a stenographer, yes? Uh -huh. That doesn't mean that that is recorded for the public record, yeah? Correct. But do you see how they create the impression that it is? Right. So if it's not on the public record, then how can they be held account by public statute, yeah? True. So that's the first error. The second is um, public service. We don't call them up on their own. We don't say that you're a public servant and we don't say, I accept your public oath. So if they're not under oath and they're not on a public record and it's a private meeting, like having a dinner party or, or a torture, what can they do? They can do anything, can't they? Mm -hmm. And that's what they do. It, the, the change, just sorry, quickly, the change in the behaviour of a judge or magistrate, once you corner them on declaring that the matter is on the public record and accepting their oath and that everything is under their oath, is unbelievable. It is like two brothers, a nasty brother and a good brother. They, the whole demeanour changes once 
you'd corner them on the 